TMA can even the score here. Leah's a strong competitor here from our gym at TMA, so I'm excited to see this one pan out. Let's see how we go. And again, straight away, Anaya takes the center of the ring. It's that initial 10 second, 15 second meeting in the center. They like their strong starts from AW Kickboxing. Yeah, they like to stamp their authority on the bout. Yeah. Leah here responding very well. She's not letting herself get pushed backwards. But yeah, Leah, Leah's pushing Anaya back now. That's trying it. to change the pattern from the fight early. There we go. Again, he's starting to regain some control here. She's got, got Anaya on the back foot a little bit more. It's again after that a li little aerobic burst, that 20, 25 seconds when the pace starts to slow. It's who then can pick the cleaner shots yeah. to get the nod on the judges' scorecard. And again, I think Leah landing the long shots with the round kicks low. Yeah. This could be this could be a case of who spends more time on the rope loses around. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You see, and Aya's struggling a little bit more now. She's good in a forward burst, but in holding the ground, Leah seems to be taking advantage and being strong there. Good Some, sharp cross. Yeah, sometimes through. in a fight, you see the fighter that's reacting and the person that's responding. It looks to me, at the minute, for the most part, that Leah is instigating the first move and Anaya is having to react to that. Yeah. That yeah. takes a lot more energy reacting. Yeah. Conscious action versus unconscious reaction. Absolutely. Yeah. So a real tough first round there. A lot of back and forth. I don't know, I'm just probably swaying towards the TMA corner, but not by much. Yeah, yeah. Aneo seems to be able to try and regain, well, she regains the water and finds spots between Leah's flurries and Leah's pushes there. I think if, if is able to try and actually hold her ground a bit more in the second round, we, should, we could be able to see a little bit of a, a closer point in the scores there, but I agree with you. I think Leah's taken that first round with her forward pressure and her uh, ability to go first there. In, in, a, in a round that's very, very close, might be that last five, 10 seconds that gets the nod on the judges' scorecard. Yeah, yeah, perfect sign-off for the end of the round. There we go. Both fighters going for it now. Really fighting for that centre of control. Again, the corners would have told them that that first round was close. And they are pushing Leah off there, trying to create the space. But Naya really needs to think about her ring positioning, moving before she has to move. So she doesn't get herself pinned on those ropes. Yeah. Again, I, I, I think in terms of punches and kicks landed, there's not a lot in it. But the aesthetics of Leah moving forward and Anaya moving back, sometimes that's all it takes. That score of aggression, isn't it really, isn't it? The, when you see somebody being able to control the fight, control the round, even if they're missing, sometimes to the judges, it can look a little bit better than pedaling backwards. Can Leah maintain it though? Can this see. is a ferocious pace. Absolutely ferocious pace. And in, in, in a, seeing her past fights, she does usually, she is able to maintain, she's able to stay along. But this is a very tough matchup for us. Let's, let's see how she's doing here. She's standing strong in that corner. Yeah, there and Naya go. needs to think about positioning when her back touches the rope. She needs to slip out to the left or slip out to the right. She's taking far There's too much on the ropes. Leah. Fantastic round there. And again, finished very, very strong by Leah. If the first round was in doubt, I don't think that second one is. But as you say, 
Now's the question of the pace. If we are right, then yeah, that's two strong rounds in for Leah. But at the same time, as you said, I say strong rounds. That first one was very close. That could be the hanging decider, depending on who, see, who saw what cleaner strikes and who saw the control better in the first round. That could leave a little decider. And if, if that pressure in the second round was a little bit more difficult for either corner, we could see a big change here in the third. So let's see how this turns out. Who wants it more? And again, both girls meet in the center. This time it's Anaya that has the better start to the round. Ooh. Aggressive from an air. Leah's firing back. Pushing back now. I like Anaya's movement better in this round now. She's moving a little bit more laterally when Leah's pressing forward. That's going to negate her attack. Being more conscious. She's not react Leah's reacting a little bit now, chasing her around the ring. Good push there. Very strong start for Renea. Very strong start. Yeah, and she's not rushing her work either. She's not closing the gap. Yeah, I think this is the most controlled I think she's been all fight. Which is great considering this is when she's probably at her most tired. Again, fighting on the back foot. And Leah's back well, up until that pressure. point. Leah with some pressure now. I think she needs to follow up with the flurries, really. Needs to dig deep, make that consistent. Com uh, consistent combinations flow to take control of this round again now. But again, it's maintaining it, isn't it? Anaya, now that she's starting to get a little bit more tired, caught on the rope, and that is where she's really losing this fight when her back's against the rope. Yeah, and definitely. a stronger finish again to Leah. There we go. There we go. And, and those are shots that are unanswered, Marco. Yeah, yeah. Very strong finish there. Yeah. Looking at the body language of the two on that final bell, it's definitely a... Leah that feels like she's got the better in that fight. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's important as well. Whether you end it strong or you, or you don't, I think showing the judges a, a strong finish in your body language and in your action, I think is a strong, something important. But in the early stages, in the early years, it's only, it's, it's, it's Yeah, it's something that you learn as you go along, isn't it? And I think, you know, Anaya watching back this, she needs to be up on the bounce after that final belt, irrespective of how the fight's gone. Yeah, 100%, 100%. serious pressure in there and actually was able to accomplish the combination she wanted to try and accomplish and dominate that that distance and pressure throughout the fight and Anaya will be back again make the adjustments that'll be a good rematch somewhere down the line Anaya showed serious heart throughout that and and there's there is something to be said for the way that she pushed forward. When Anaya decided she wanted to direct the pace, she directed the pace. I think it would be finding the balance there now for uh, her future competitions of when to direct the pace and how can she how she can control those paths moving away. Because in that third round, the moment she started some lateral movement and decided that when it was more in a passive action and she could control it, she was able to dominate and capitalize on those exchanges too. I think fantastic work from both sides.